Hey, it's Brickzar. In this video, we're going to do a Lego haul from the Downtown Disney Lego Imagination Center store, and we're going to answer two bat questions. One, have I ever been in the back of a Lego store? And two, how many licensed train themes has Lego done? So stay tuned for that. <laughs> So first we'll get into our Lego haul. We went to the Downtown Disney Lego store, which is the largest store that I know of in the United States, and it has the largest pick-a-brick wall in the United States that I have seen. So anyway, we only get there every couple of years or so. Haven't been there a lot, and they're doing a lot of construction down there, remodeling all of Downtown Disney. Uh, it's a nice little place to visit doesn't cost anything to park there or to visit the shops and you can spend the whole day in the whole area and that store is humongous and every time I've been there it's been super packed <laughs> with people so we went there just to see if they had any anything going on special at the store um, I didn't get any like the new modern sets so I wanted to to get the free item so I got enough things to qualify for the free item nothing super spectacular or discounted but we picked up this fireman set um, as you know if you've watched my channel I've been collecting fire theme related stuff for quite a while so I picked that up and I got this little castle set because it had this little tiny catapult <laughs> that's another thing I collected was castle theme uh, I'm not as crazy about the modern castle uh, characters but I just I saw that little tiny catapult and I said I gotta get it. So it's $15 set, not the best deal in the world. And then I got items that are exclusive to the store. You can only purchase at that particular Lego store. And Brickley is there. It's the the dragon that's out in the lake. Uh, it's been there for a while. His tongue used to be red, it's like pink now. So they use pink tiles uh, for his tongue on the that so this is like a photo frame or something I think so exclusive to the store is twelve dollars only picked up one not something I'm looking to resell or anything and I also picked up the Orlando minifigure on a magnet it's probably glued I didn't even look to see yeah some of the elements are glued or fused together so I picked that up all the all the um, merchandise that was themed to the store was on clearance and then we got two pick a brick cups and we will include a video a shot it's not very good but of the pick a brick wall if I counted correctly there are three no 216 slots to pick from um, some of them may have had the same items but they have a super awesome pick a brick wall so we're not going to dump these out and show you what we got um, they might be bricks when to get some pieces for mock and still, still had some gaps in there we actually repacked one of the cups but I'm not one to spend a lot of time I probably could have got a little a little bit more pieces if we had took the time to stick things together and make sure all the air bubbles are out but we got a bunch of these one by one round tiles we got some of these two by two modified plates with the stud on them probably should have just got an entire cup of those uh, and we got some clear one by ones we got some one by one by five bricks and also got in the middle there some one by two by five bricks that's for a mock we're doing we got a bunch of one by two by two uh, clear panels for mock that they might be bricks wanted to do but that's what we got the pick of bricks are like 16 these cups are 16 dollars now also got the lego club magazine there and this is very cool so i don't know maybe you've already seen it but the uh, calendar the lego calendar and it looks like you will be able to get the store employee again which i think you have to have this calendar coupon to get it so that's coming back we also have the Han Solo Hoth minifigure will be coming back. I think that's going to be 
re-release and when i saw this i was like all oh, right they're going to be bringing that back but it does not say that it says free build a mini with any lego purchase purchase so you can get a free mini figure but they don't usually have that torso on the wall so that's just some of the deals uh, maybe i should open it up we'll go ahead and open it up tell you what else is in there this is like a ten dollar purchase but it's free when you buy i think you had to buy 75 dollars worth of stuff it's got oh it's got a sticker sheet in there club meeting <laughs> I'll see if there's any other. Oh, those are the only coupons. January, February, and March. That's weird. Hmm. So anyway, I thought maybe there would have been a coupon for every month, but looks like those are the only coupons in the whole thing. Oh well. And got one other thing. Now they had something there where they do engravings i'll show you a picture of some of the samples they had there so i thought that was pretty neat and i got me of course two by four brick with brick czar and the space logo um, actually i've seen some custom engravings that people do and they're actually cheaper than what lego offered uh, it's 4.99 per side so if i wanted to engrave something on the other side it had been an additional 499 so this was five bucks to get this red two by four brick with brick czar <laughs> so i had to get that we'll put brick czar on there you know i had to get it even though it was five dollars so they said that this is the only store that you can get this i don't know uh, they might be brick says sometimes that i know more about the lego there than some of the store employees but <laughs> That, that's what they, they told me there at the store. This is the only store in the country that you can get these engraved bricks. So I thought that was pretty neat. So now we'll get to our two back questions for the week. And one actually has two parts to it, but it's from Wumbo Watson, who got uh, became a victim of autocorrect. But the question is, have you ever been in the back of a Lego store? And he also asked, what's the set that you have the most of? and why now i did peek in the back of the lego store uh, when we were there at downtown disney but i've never actually been in the back of the store and so no i have not been and as far as which set do i have the most of now the most that i ever bought was of the naboo sphere the planet sphere it was and the reason why was because it was on clearance I got 400 of them. Most all of those pieces except for the spheres have been sold. Most of the minifigure parts, uh, specialty bricks and things in there have all been sold, but it's, I still have all the spheres. Uh, next to that is probably Final Duel 2, which had the uh, uh, Clone Trooper, Luke Skywalker, Imperial Guard. I bought over 200 of those, but I don't have them all complete now. I've sold all the minifigures from those sets. And as far as what I currently own, it would probably be the um, set that has the um, letters and numbers where you can make your own business card. I probably have about 30 or so of those. I never even opened one yet, but I wanted to get it for all the letters. And then our next question comes from Yuldor, who lives in Australia, loves trains. He asks a question for LEGO Train Month, and it is regarding how many licensed train sets have there been so these are sets in the train theme that would technically need a license or permission from the trademark holder in order for lego to produce stuff or they'd have to give credit and that would be things like the santa fe trains uh, which were sets 10022 10025 10020 because Santa Fe is that's a name of a real railroad. And also the Burlington Northern Santa Fe train, which was 10133, and the TTX double stack intermodal train 10170. And those are the five main ones. But also there were others, such as the Shell tanker wagons. There's been three different 
shell tanker wagons that I know of. Set 136, 7813, and 7816. I think I've reviewed all three of those. I'll check after I do this video. I'll put a picture or something if I have. And then the other is the shell fuel refinery, which I know I used to own. Don't think I have it now anymore. Probably sold it, but that had the shell, which is a shell logo, a real company. So those are the ones that I could think of. That's what about nine different sets? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine different sets that would be licensed. Uh, maybe not the way people think of today, like with Star Wars, because really that was technically the first licensed theme, the Star Wars theme, which started in '99, but Obviously, Lego before that made things that had either Shell or other gas stations. What was the other one they always did? Exxon, Exxon yes. Exxon. So, that, to me, those are licensed as well. Tell me what you think. Do you know of any that I've missed? If you have, leave it in the comments below. We'll maybe add it or update it later. But that's my haul from the Lego store at Downtown Disney. There was another question that somebody asked me. I cannot find the question. I'll just go ahead and throw it here at the end of the video. Because I got to thinking about this when I was at that store. Because there's so many hundreds of people in the store. And thousands around it. Somebody had asked, has anybody ever recognized you as Brickzar? And outside of Brick Fair, Alabama, I would say absolutely not. At least if they did, they didn't say anything to me. I am not like the Brick Show where I'm putting myself in front of the camera enough where just your casual viewer would know what I look like. Like I'm not even in this video here that I'm doing so if this was the only video somebody did they wouldn't recognize me. In fact somebody left a comment the other day is like it's kind of funny carrying on a conversation with a minifigure because <laughs> they were I responded to a comment on, on a video but anyway that is actually more questions than I anticipated that I was going to cover but anyway thanks for watching this video this haul and bat. Catch you in the next one. It's Brickzar.